Hi, my name is Dean Rumpel, CEO of Plug Away Industries, and today I'm standing in an installer's bay where we are going to custom fit all of the interior piece by piece. Why don't you join me and I'll take you on your own personal tour of a new 2017 Plateau whoa, FL. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Standing beside our new 2017 Plateau FL and I'm underneath our new awning. This is a legless awning for 2017 so we don't have to worry about staking legs into the ground or attaching them to the side of the van. This even comes with a great LED light bar and a built-in wind sensor so if you ever get caught on a windy day it's going to close up and it'll save your awning. The 2017 Plateau FL is built on the Mercedes-Benz 3500 chassis. It's a one-ton chassis that features a three-liter, six-cylinder turbo diesel engine and a five-speed transmission. And our customers report to us this coach will average around 20 miles per gallon on the highway. This is only 22 feet, nine inches long, so it makes it really simple to drive and versatile in heavy traffic. As we come along the driver's side, we have new for 2017, we added our hot and cold exterior shower on the Plateau FL. We have our central utility hookup where you plug in your shore power, park cable, city water, and your propane tank disconnect switch. We also feature our sewer discharge station. Here's where you will be able to empty your gray water and black water tanks by color-coded handles and we even have a sewer hose storage container located right beside it. As we move along, we even paint our fiberglass center panel to match the windows, so it gives it a clean automotive look. We have our upper and lower fridge vent. Also, you'll find we have our on-demand water heater, so you no longer have to wait for a six gallon tank to heat up. It provides the water as soon as you open up the tap. As we come along, you'll notice we have our frameless awning style windows. So even if it's raining outside, you can have them open, allowing fresh air in. As we come around to the back of the coach, we have our backup camera. Down below, we have our 5,000 pound rated hitch, seven pole wiring, and a propane quick connect. So if you want to attach a barbecue, you have an outlet that you can draw propane straight from the onboard propane tank. As I open up the two back doors, you'll notice we don't have a spare tire on the back anymore. We don't offer a spare tire. Nobody wants to lift up and down every time you want to access all this storage. So what we've done instead is we provide every coach with an emergency roadside tire repair kit and we back it with a three year Pleasure Way roadside assistance warranty. So if you ever have tire trouble on the road, you can just call our roadside assistance and they'll come out and they'll change or repair your tire for you. Directly under the sofa, you'll notice our Earth Smart Lithium batteries. Now these are iron phosphate batteries. That means they're incredibly safe. And as you already know, lithium batteries recharge quicker and offer thousands of cycles as compared to AGM batteries. But something you may not know is lithium batteries don't suffer from voltage sag. What this means is if you have 100% or 30% battery life, it still delivers the same constant power. As you can see, the back doors were wide open here. Now, you can get an optional roll-up screen package that encloses the entire back area in and if you're not using it, it rolls up and tucks out of the way. As we come around to the passenger side, we have 110 plugs located here. We also have CR Lawrence automotive frameless windows. You'll notice that this huge bank of glass makes it great if you're in heavy traffic, you can see outside. You'll also see that we have our standard stainless steel wheel liners. Now, you can also get an optional Alcoa package that'll give you a set of four aluminum wheels. They're beautiful. As we come along, this is the standard black plastic Mercedes-Benz moldings, but you can get an option to have them painted to match the exterior color of your vehicle. We have three Mercedes-Benz choices. This is brilliant silver. You can also choose gray white or pearl metallic. 
And now let's step inside and I'll show you the interior of the new 2017 Plateau FL. The first thing we're gonna notice is our optional phantom screen door. This is a full aluminum frame, full screen, lets lots of air in, and if you bump into it, it feeds itself right back into the track. Now you can have it all the way open or a little bit open, and it feeds itself all the way into its own aluminum holding case. Next, you'll notice our first multiplex wiring panel. It's conveniently located, so when you open the door, you can either turn on all your lights through our master switch. You can also control individual banks, turn on your water pump, and you can start and stop your standard 2.5 kilowatt Onan propane generator. There is a battery disconnect switch and a dual USB port. As soon as we step inside the Plateau FL, which stands for front lounge, you'll notice we have our two front seats. They easily swivel around, creating a second seating option for you. So if you choose to leave your bed made up at the back, you have another area where you can set the table up, you can dine up here, you can watch TV, and it also has a great little workstation right here. Let me show you how this works. With my laptop set up, I can rotate my chair, pull it all the way up so I have a nice comfortable position. If the sun is coming in my window and I can't see my screen, I've got a handy MCD shade right here. With the laptop plugged into my 110 outlet, we now can power and charge my laptop through our new Xantrex 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. It can charge it right from our coach batteries. I don't need to start my generator if I don't want to. Also, just below the 110 plug is a USB charging port with two jacks, so you can charge two devices if you need to. And we also have our WineGuard Razor Digital TV antenna. This TV antenna works off of both TVs, and it'll automatically find you the strongest digital TV signal. With our dining room table set up at the front, remember we can always leave our bed made up at the back. And as you can see, this is great placement for two of us to sit here, watch TV, have dinner, and it doesn't obstruct the doorway, so it's easy to get in and out of the coach. Right above the kitchen countertop is our remote panel for our Xantrax inverter. Now, this inverter will power all of the plugs in the inside and outside of the coach, except for our air conditioner and our fridge, but just to give you an example, with my laptop plugged in, we can see that I'm currently drawing 4.1 amps per hour and it's pulling about 60 watts. The inverter also powers the convection microwave so if you want to heat something up quickly for a few minutes you don't have to worry about starting your generator or finding some place to plug in a shore power. As we move through the kitchen you'll notice this beautiful hazel Corian countertop. It's also available in cloud and Milky Way. We have a Corian cutting board sink cover, a stainless steel sink, single lever faucet, and a two burner LP stove with a convenient flush mount top so that it creates more counter space. We also have a flip up counter extension to give you a little more room. Directly below the Corian, we have a convenient 110 plug located at the back and one located up front. We have very deep drawers for pots here, as well as many other drawers for utensils. Now these are solid maple slab doors. The boxes are made from Baltic birch, which is incredibly straight and hard. And we also use ball bearing drawer glides, which makes it very convenient to close. We have lots of storage underneath the sink and even a little pantry shelf at the front. Our construction processes help us achieve one of the quietest coaches you can drive. And that starts with our subfloor, which we run from wall to wall. Also, it comes in how we construct our cabinets, like this kitchen as an example. We don't use stick framing, we use solid plywood construction that's screwed together. Why don't we step inside our wood shop and I'll show you how we achieve this great rattle-free quiet ride. The foundation of our interior starts with the installation of our subfloor. We begin by adhering wood blocking to the metal floor, eliminating the chance of vibrations. An integral aspect of the subfloor is our use of 7-ply half-inch mahogany plywood. 
Using high quality solid plywood provides us with a strong and sturdy base to build the interior cabinetry on. To permanently seal the plywood to the Sprinter chassis floor, we bond them together with Sikaflex. Once the plywood is in place, we proceed with the second stage of fastening and fully secure each piece down with screws. Screws are what will keep the subfloor from shifting over time, meaning there will not be any squeaks or rattles while moving throughout the coach. Another important aspect of our installation process is how we fit the plywood from wall to wall. We cover the entire area of the floor to create a consistently flat and square surface to later anchor interior walls and cabinetry to. An advantage of installing the subfloor from wall to wall is the reduction in noise from the road below. Plywood acts as a great insulator over the metal floor and results in a quieter interior while driving. Moving into the wood shop, we now begin assembling the kitchen cabinet. To build the kitchen, we use screws along with metal angle brackets. The main structure of the kitchen is made of high grade half inch seven ply plywood. Screws hold very tightly in plywood, which results in a solid kitchen. The one piece face frame is made up of three quarter inch six ply plywood. All face frames used for the interior cabinetry are cut out by the CNC router to be one complete piece. This means our face frames will never twist and the cabinets will remain solid. Particle board and MDF are common building materials for other manufacturers, but they deteriorate over time and are prone to off-gassing. We build our coaches to last, so we utilize solid framing and quality materials. The drawers are constructed with seven ply Baltic birch plywood. We use Baltic birch plywood because it's exceptionally straight and has a high density structure. The craftsman completes the kitchen by inspecting all drawers to ensure they're sliding smoothly and sitting square on the cabinet front. Now that the kitchen is complete and the solid subfloor firmly in place, the installer carefully measures and fits the kitchen into its final position. The kitchen is anchored into the subfloor as well as wall blocking adhered to the side wall of the motorhome. Our meticulous building process results in cabinetry that installs flush and true, leaving us with a quiet interior that eliminates the possibility of squeaks and rattles inside the coach. Directly across from the kitchen is our wet bath. So we have two doors, so it's easy to open up. We have a second sink. So if I'm prepping food in the kitchen and I need to wash my hands, it's very easy to do. We have a medicine cabinet. We also put a window in it to make it feel bigger, more open inside, and a Tetford China Boil residential size toilet. And with this being a wet bath, you can just simply pull the shower curtain across when you need to take a shower. Directly behind the bathroom, we have our convection microwave oven so you can heat food up, maybe even use it to bake something. It'll run off of your generator, shore power, or our new convenient inverter. We have a three-way fridge located at waist height, so it's easy to load food in and out of. And it is three-way, so you have three sources you can use, 110, 12 volt, or propane. Directly below the fridge, we have our 16,000 BTU forced air furnace. Directly behind the convection microwave and the fridge, we have our Go Power solar controller. So you can have up to three optional 95 watt solar panels, giving you a total of 285 watts or 15 amps per hour of solar power to charge your lithium coach batteries. The solar controller, you'll be able to read the voltage in your batteries, how many amps per hour are coming in through the solar panels, and the state of charge of your lithium batteries. Directly below the solar panel controller is our Blu-ray player, which is a smart Blu-ray player, which means if you have Wi-Fi or hotspot, you can stream such things as Netflix directly to your 24 inch LCD TV. And right below it, we have our hanging closet. Directly above the 24 inch LCD TV, we have our digital wall thermostat, from here, you'll control your 11,000 BTU rooftop air conditioner and your 16,000 BTU forced air furnace. So you can toggle between which appliance you want 
and simply set your desired temperature and it works just as your own thermostat in your house does. Right beside the digital thermostat is our multiplex wiring touchpad. Here from the home screen you can see the levels of all of your tanks, gray, fresh, black water, along with your propane holding tank, the voltage in your coach batteries, plus you can control the water pump, generator start, stop, and you can extend and retract your power sofa. It also has a lighting panel so you can individually control each bank of lights including dimming them and an hour meter on your generator so you can keep track of your maintenance intervals. When it's time to convert the power sofa into the queen size bed, we're simply going to extend the sofa and the sofa will lay down flat and butt up to the two ottomans. This will give you either two single beds or one queen size bed that measures 70 inches wide by 74 inches long. There's a large upper cabinet storage right across the back of the coach. And as we come along the passenger side, we have all of these upper cabinets. Now, I wanna point out that we use Hayfla door stays so the doors stay up when you need them to, and Bloom European hinges. These Bloom hinges have a lifetime warranty. We also use positive latches so the cabinets stay closed when you need them to. And when you look inside, you'll see how neat and clean and finished they are. This is because we screw all of the cabinetry together and we even use angle brackets to ensure their strength. As I'm sitting in the back of the rear sofa in the rear living area of the coach, you'll notice that we keep the kitchen on the passenger side. This is so we have a wide open and spacious feeling. And if we have some friends over, they're sitting in the front and more in the back, we can all join in one conversation. Directly above me, you'll see our handcrafted solid maple hand stained valance covers. The valance houses our MCD roller shades. Here, you can pull them only halfway down if you like, which is great because we have four awning style windows so you can get semi-privacy while still letting the fresh air in. If you like complete privacy, you can pull all of the MCD roller shades all the way down and give yourself total privacy when you need it. With the table set up, we have a second dining area here in the back lounge. Now each power sofa comes equipped with two three-point seat belts for those days you need to take a couple of extra passengers. And we cover our power sofa in luxurious ultra leather. This is available in three different color schemes. So here we're showcasing cream. It's also available in pewter and titanium. Beneath the ultra leather, we have multiple layers of foam. We start with a base of medium density foam and end with a two inch top of memory foam so that when you're laying down and sleeping at night, it conforms to your body shapes and ensures you get a great night's sleep. Each ottoman is covered in ultra leather and shares the same foam properties as our power sofa. Below, in each ottoman end piece, there are USB chargers so that passengers sitting in the back can charge the device while traveling. As we move back up to the front of the coach, you'll see we have six feet three inches of standing height and a fantastic fan. Now this is great on those days where it's not quite hot enough to run your air conditioner, but by cracking one of the windows at the back and turning on your fan, you can create a great breeze throughout the coach. We also have our soft touch vinyl ceiling, which is really easy to keep clean, and LED lights, which are all dimmable. When it's time to break camp, it's very easy to do to convert the front lounge because I have all this room up front. The front chairs swivel around easily and we're ready to go. An advantage of the FL floor plan is without having a cabinet directly behind the driver's seat, this allows me to recline this driver's seat back further than any of our other models. As we move up to the front, each coach comes equipped with Becker in-dash navigation by Mercedes-Benz. This also includes AM FM radio, Bluetooth to pair your phone to, along with an auxiliary USB port and an auxiliary jack if you want to plug in an iPod for example. Other standard features include chassis air conditioning, tilt, cruise control, power windows, power door locks, power remote mirrors, and a smart wheel. 
This allows you to answer your phone and adjust the volume of your radio. The Mercedes-Benz chassis comes with some great safety features such as front collision avoidance, lane assist, blind spot assist, and high beam assist. When it comes to safety, Mercedes-Benz has the best package available. Well, that concludes our tour. If you're looking for a coach with two dedicated seating areas, you want a high quality custom hand fit interior that's going to provide you with a rattle free ride, then maybe this Pleasure Way is for you.